Big up guys, this is the Creative Insight Podcast. We're in the building. Yeah, we've been here since what, 10 a.m.? Working. That's what we do, man. That's what we do we're out here working. So mm-hmm. had to bring in another special guest, Tamer Hendy in the building. How's it going? Ba, 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 you good? Nice, nice. I'm so happy to be here. Man. Thank you for featuring on the show. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You've been, you know, you've been doing this for a minute, so yeah. it's only right, you know, we find out your story mm-hmm. and see where you're going as well. Okay. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. You ready? Yep. So, All right, cool. I'm Tamer Hendy, singer, yeah. songwriter, entertainer. Mm-hmm. And my journey started when I was three years old. So, I used to love singing in the house with my parents or with my dad, especially at a young age, because he plays the guitar. So, he religiously plays the guitar like every night. Whoa. So, I used to sing along to it as a child. And then I made up my first song when I was three years old called Rubbish. <laughs> and yeah, what was that about? <laughs> it was about rubbish, like literally <laughs> throwing rubbish in a bin. Yeah, yeah. And it didn't really make much sense, but mm. I guess that's where I kind of found my melody, my tone, my voice, and stuff. And he recorded it on his tape cassette, and he actually still has it till today. Wow. So, from there, it just went on to singing in the choir singing at talent shows, um, at school, um, yeah, like attending like musical programs as a teenager, attending raw materials in Brixton, where I further developed before I finally started recording at recording studios. So yeah, mm. that's kind of how so, it started. Wow. So you you were literally, you were born into music, you were yeah, born to do this. 100%, yeah, definitely, wow. I have a musical so family, yeah. You, would you say you have a talent for music? Yeah, I have a talent yeah, for music, yeah yeah. yeah. yeah, so your talent, combined with the passion, combined mm-hmm. with the hard work, produced the results, it's right? It's only right, yeah. yeah. Nice. How did you get the name Tamer Hendy, though? My name's Tamer. Ah, okay, okay. So, mm-hmm. um, Hendy is just an abbreviation of my last name. To be, f- it's so funny because for a long time, my name was just Tamer. And then people were saying to me, well, my dad actually was saying to me, you should have a second name, you should have a second name, like, Tamer sounds unfinished. Mm. And originally I was like, whatever, like, no, I love Tamer, just how it is. And then, like, a few people kept saying to me, Tamer, and my dad was like, what about Tamer Hendy? He just said it, just yeah, as, yeah. like, as a suggestion. Mm. And initially, I was like, no. <laughs> yeah. But you weren't then feeling that in the beginning? I weren't feeling it in the beginning, I wasn't yeah. feeling it. I was like, nah, I don't, I don't like it. But then, after a while, it just started to stick, and then one day, I just started liking it. I don't even, I don't even really, like, really yeah. realise why I started liking it. I just, one yeah. day I was just like, well, you know what? That actually sounds sick. Like, I think what it yeah. was was I was against having a, two names. But once I started accepting that, you know what? Maybe I should have two names. Hendy just mm. sounded right. So we just went with Hendy. So you just went with it. And yeah. then you never looked back. Never looked back. Tamer Hendy. Tamer. Okay, yeah. nice. So cool, yeah. You made your first track at three. Mm. And then from there... Who kind of got you in the studio now? Well, I was I got in the studio via Raw Materials. So that's a musical program in Brixton that developed artists at the time. I think now they, they focus more on mental health and okay. on working with um, vulnerable young people and stuff. By the time I think it was Open For All, 